A dramatic escalation of Russia's war in Ukraine. Vladimir Putin announces a mobilization, calling up an additional 300,000 troops. I'm John Berman with Erica Hill this morning, and this is the biggest move by Russia since it invaded Ukraine in February. Putin announced a partial mobilization to begin immediately. Now, Britain's defense secretary says this is an admission that Russia's invasion is failing. Russia has suffered humiliating losses with troops retreating from occupied territory. The Putin speech was riddled with false claims and contained ominous nuclear language with Putin promising to defend his country. This is not a bluff. The citizens of Russia can be sure that the territorial integrity of our homeland, our independence and freedom will be ensured. And those who try to blackmail us with nuclear weapons should know that the prevailing winds can turn in their direction. Of course, these comments also come against the backdrop of the U.N. General Assembly this week here in New York. The war on Ukraine dominating those conversations. President Biden is actually set to speak just a few hours from now. Ukraine's President Zelensky set to address world leaders remotely later today. All of this as occupied Ukrainian regions in Donetsk, Luhansk, Kherson, and Zaporizhia announced referendums on joining Russia this week. Ukraine and its allies dismissing that move as a sham driven by a fear of defeat. We are covering the major developments. We're covering them on all the angles. Let's begin with CNN's Barbara Starr, who's standing by at the Pentagon. CNN military analyst Colonel Cedric Layton is in Washington, D.C., and Matthew Chance. Let's start with you there in London, Matthew. What more do we know this morning? Well, this speech uh, taking place this morning uh, at 9 o'clock in the morning, local time in, in Russia. Um, 